Hey, what's up guys? Chip Walters here with some exciting news of a new product I've been working on for the last couple of months. Have you ever heard the term CMF? Well, if you're an industrial designer like me, you probably have. CMF stands for Color, Materials, and Finish, and it's an area of industrial design that focuses on the chromatic, tactile, and decorative identity of products and environments. And most 3D rendering gurus will tell you the materials and textures make or break a scene. You may have heard of my Blender EV rendering course called Definitely EV Definitive Interiors, which is the first course to focus on photoreal rendering in EV. And I followed that course up later with some freebies, including an EV glass shader and a one shader to rule for EV. Check them out at Gumroad. In continuing with that theme, I'd like to present a new product I've been working on. It's called the Definitely EV Material System. And it's a collection of more than 100 of my favorite and most used materials. And due to the fact they are standardized on one shaded rule and my new Excalibur material, you can tweak them in an infinite number of ways. This includes creating your own custom derivatives by changing surface color, surface glossy and roughness, and even bump and normals. Not to mention, you can add dirt and grime directly to any of the materials to give them that used weathered look. These materials are based on custom tileable image maps. You may have heard me talk about this before, but I'm a big believer in photo maps versus procedural for most materials. They are just more lifelike and true. Many procedural materials are not photoreal, and if they are, then they're just too difficult, if not impossible, to edit. Most image maps I use are handcrafted at 2K resolution, which gives pretty good close-up renders, and they also tile well for distance. Plus, you can easily add your own maps by starting with one of these materials and then swapping out its tileable texture map for your own. So, what are the Definitely EV materials? First and foremost, they are high quality materials you can easily add to your EV scenes. They are real materials with an expectation of being part of a photo reel workflow. Most are optimized for close up and show subtle scratches, smudges, and imperfections in the surface and reflections, just like in real life. While all of these great materials will work with UV maps, they are set up to just work without having to do any UV unwrapping. They are fast to render with a low memory overhead. This way, you can use many more materials in your scene. And they are not materials with high bump map values. Bump and normal maps are somewhat of a cheat versus displacement, so these materials do not focus on faking displacement at too large a scale. There are 17 different core metal materials. All of them are PBR graded and include gold, aluminum, silver, brass, copper, iron, nickel, platinum, steel, titanium in both matte and polished versions. And also included with metal materials are corrugated roof, diamond plate, anodized, dirty and scratched steel, and more. There are different flavors of concrete, wood, and stone materials, including 90 degree rotations for some of them to easily change the direction of the pattern. There are specialty materials including leathers, carbon fiber, grimes, rubber, sheetrock, custom colorable carpet and fabric, and even a UV mapping material. There are both paint and plastic materials, each with variations including matte and shiny. Changing the color is as simple as clicking a button. And there are different brick materials, granite and marble materials, all easily colorized. There are lots of different wood materials, including bark, plywood, chipboard, and multiple grain woods. And there's a whole group of tech materials, including carbon fiber, Pirelli dot synthetic rubber, perforated and hex carbon, and more. There are three different super high quality EV only glass shaders. The best to use for wine bottles and glass is the thin glass shader, thanks to Eric Klein, as well as a flat table and outside window glass materials. While these are free on Gumroad, I added them here for quick access and editing them is a breeze. The system includes seven videos to walk you through installation, operation, and customization. While you can certainly append them as .blend files, they work spectacularly with our new KitOps Free to load onto an object with a single button press. And I've included four amazing dirt node groups. With them, you can easily modify an existing material to add altitude and ambient inclusion dirt and grime. With these group nodes, it's now extremely easy to dirty up your environment. So who is this for? This is for folks who regularly work in Eevee. It's for creating realistic interiors and objects, and especially if you're in a hurry and don't want to mess around with UVs and defining multiple maps for each channel and then tweaking them with an unlimited of other nodes. 
its purpose is in line with the 80-20 rule and keep it simple. I'd rather think it's more like 90-10, as in get 90% of the way with only 10% of the effort. So who is this not for? It's not intended for folks wanting to render in cycles, though many of the materials render just fine there. It's not intended for people who are node specialists and enjoy spending hours tweaking textures to get the exact right look. It's not intended for NPR or non-photoreal rendered scenes. So why did I create this? As an industrial designer, I understand the need for rapid iteration to create the perfect look for a product or environment. These materials represent my own Swiss army knife of what I'm looking for each time I want to add a material to a scene. So how do you get this? Just jump over to Gumroad or Blender Market and grab a copy today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you online.